Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you don't know who we are, I'm Mario. And I'm Janke. And today we're taking you with us to the local market. So, let's hop on the scooter and let's go. So before we head to the market, we just decided to stop here at Cafe Amazon. Now if you are in Thailand or coming to Thailand and you're not sure where you can get coffee, Cafe Amazon, they are all over Thailand and they make pretty good coffee at a decent price as well. We got a, uh, this is a espresso iced. And I have a peach smoothie which is very very good. Yeah, and I think this was about 130 baht, not too bad. Now if you do want to go cheaper with iced coffee and drinks like this, you can go to 7-Eleven. If you're not sure if 7-Eleven makes them, just check on the door, there's a sign that says, I think it's all Cafe 7, but it's also got a coffee sign, then you know they make coffee. The market that we are going to tonight, it's not far from our house and this market only happens once Saturday and they close the whole street down to put all the vendors up. We're going to just go through everything, show you what they have, also buy some food and show you the prices. A bit more info about us, we are both from South Africa and I've been in Thailand for almost four years now. I decided to go back to South Africa last year and that's when we met. Um, I decided then to drag her along to Thailand to experience it. So as my first year in Thailand, I am in love with this place. So I would definitely recommend to put this on your bucket list. Across the street there's another market uh, and that one is open every night. They mostly sell food and sometimes they'll pop up extra stalls with uh, clothing and a few other electronic items and so on. But yeah, we got all our food and everything so we're gonna head back home and then show you guys what we got. And we made it back home. Now I had to change my shirt because it was drenched in sweat. I think it was <laughs> high 30s, almost 38 degrees Celsius and high humidity. Yeah, it was extremely hot. Uh, we have all the food in front of us. Everything, I calculated everything and it came to 220 baht, which is super cheap. I mean, that's the drinks, the sticky rice and pork. Uh, yeah, we'll show you guys everything now. And yeah, then we're going to just taste and maybe give it a score. Why not? Like what, 10, 5? Yeah, let's do out of 10. Out of 10, okay. okay. We decided to buy some crickets because she's never tried it. And the last time I tried a cricket, all I could taste was uh, they coated it with pepper, black pepper, and it tasted like grass. But these ones, surprisingly, they were actually pretty nice. They were eh? good. Yeah, what the taste, it's kind of like a barbecue taste. And that's about all you taste. You just taste the spices. Uh, but yeah, this one was good. Bought this one because we felt bad. We try yeah they said we could try and then we felt bad so we just bought it we won't eat it but we support the locals <laughs> all right so let's start with my favorite thing on the plate is sticky rice and pork mm. Mm. it's tender it's soft also a little bit sweet really really good and then what you would do is you would break off a piece of the sticky rice and eat it with the pork this combination is really, really delicious. Uh, obviously, because it's my favorite, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> For me, mm, 
It is good. It is actually very good. So nine. Nine. Wow. Yeah, wow. Good. Okay. Nine out of ten. Not bad. Moving on to these deep fried balls with seaweed on the top. I tried to ask the guy what's inside. I have no idea. So let's find out. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, okay. It's a Vienna inside. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, it's okay, but mm, I'll give it a four out of ten. I don't know. I like it. Maybe six, five. Okay, so six, mm. six or five. You have to decide which one. Six. Six. All right, we have a six. Okay. Next up, we have the street sushi. We have eaten this before. Mm, it, it's okay. It's not. It's not the best. It's not what we used to back yeah. in South Africa. We do. We really have good sushi back home. This is not the best. But let's try and then score it. Cheers. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah. Same for me. Give that a zero. Zero. Hopefully we don't get sick. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know tomorrow morning. We found these mini pizzas, super cheap, 10 baht for, for, so this would be, just put them together, this would be a full, full size, 10 baht, super yeah. cheap. So let's eat, cheers. Oh, it's like seafood. Mm. Seafood taste, mm. seafood flavor. Mm. Mm. I like this one. It's, it's okay. I like it, but it's, it's okay. I'd give it six out of 10. Definitely couldn't say no to ribs. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. This is good. Okay, 10 out of 10. Mm. And we had to get something sweet for obviously dessert. Now, I think you just, I think you call them eclairs. They have like a cream. Oh no, this one isn't like cream. I think this is coconut. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Anyway, cheers. It tastes like that. Maybe it is. Who knows? Good. Mm. We'll give that a 9 out of 10. Mm. Yeah, I like it. 8. 8? Alright, 8 and 9. So yeah, that is everything we bought. Obviously, there are tons more food. We can buy everything. That's impossible. <laughs> and most of the things we wouldn't want to buy. No. Yeah. Um, so, like Yanka said, make sure to put Thailand on your bucket list yeah. and visit it. I think everyone that comes to Thailand and have been here, they fell in love with Thailand. And we're going to end the video here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure to drop a comment with any suggestions. If you have a question, we will get back to you. And we'll see, see you in, in the, the next, next video. video. Hi there. And... Mm, start. <clears throat> a bit more in there a bit more okay so across the street is okay yeah. across the street of us um everything i'm not sure what it